crunch out an example of finding a Taylor series from scratch. So find the Taylor series for f of x is x and minus 3. Centered, we're looking for the center to be c is equal to 1. And so we're just, we know from here's our definition of Taylor series. We can see we're just going to have to calculate out bunches of derivatives. We need a general formula for the nth derivative here. Um, plug in c is equal to 1 into those derivatives and write down our write down our series. So let's get to work. Okay, so f of x is x to the minus 3. f prime of x, the first derivative, is minus 3x to the minus 4. f double prime of x is 3 times 4. I'm bringing down that minus 4. Those multiply together will give us uh, 3 times 4. x to the minus 5. The third derivative, now there will be a minus sign again. Minus 3 times 4 times 5. x to the minus 6. The fourth derivative, so those minus signs will cancel. So 3 times 4 times 5 times uh, 6. x to the minus 7. And so in general, I think we have enough uh, data here to say what's going on. The nth derivative of x is going to be... So 3 times 4 times 5 times dot, dot, dot all the way out to, let's see, when we have the third derivative, we stop at 5, that's 2 bigger than 3. When we have the fourth derivative, we stop at 6, that's 2 bigger than 4. So it looks like we stop at m plus 2. How about, uh, is this plus or minus? Sometimes plus is sometimes minus. It is positive at the even derivatives of f. It's negative at the odd index derivatives, the odd order derivatives of f. So this should be minus 1 to the n. That will do the trick. If n is odd, that's minus 1. If n is even, that is plus 1. Um, and then, let's see, we're going to stop here at x to the minus n plus 3. Okay, so this is, this is our setup here. We have figured out our derivatives. Now let's plug in. Now let's plug in, uh, we have to plug in c is equal to 1. So f of 1 is 1, f prime of 1, it's minus 3, dot, dot, dot. Really, we should just go ahead and plop in 1 in here. The nth derivative evaluate at 1 is going to be minus 1 to the n times 3 times 4 times 5 times dot 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 times n plus 2. Okay, so this is, this is where we are. Now we have to, uh, we should think about, we're multiplying lots of numbers together. Is there a nice formula for this? Um, so we should be thinking about factorials here. So realize, let me go to a different color marker. If we were to have 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times da 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 all the way out to n plus 2. I mean, there's an implicit 1 at the start there. That's n plus 2 factorial. So ignoring this minus 1 to the n, these terms in here, this is... Ju this is n plus 2 factorial, but missing the 2. So we divide, if we divide this by 2, and we divide this by 2, we get exactly the product here from 3 all the way out to n plus 2. So our final way of writing the nth derivative evaluated at 1 is going to be minus 1 to the n times n plus 2 factorial divided by 2. Okay, so uh, this is the setup that this is all the preliminary calculations that we need. So once again, here is our setup here. We need fn of f, the, the nth derivative of, of f, evaluate at c, divided by n factorial. Let's write out that calculation. Okay. 
So from before, this is minus 1 to the n times n plus 2 factorial divided by 2. And downstairs, we have n factorial. Okay, so we've got an n plus 2 factorial upstairs. We have n factorial downstairs. We should think about, this is, you know, think back to ratio tests. We should think about if we can rewrite this so things cancel. Sure enough, oops, uh, let me get this right. n plus 2 factorial, we can peel off n plus 2 and n plus 1 to get an n factorial. So n plus 2 factorial is this, n factorial is this. I also need to write down minus 1 to the n and divide by 2. And so cancel, cancel. What are we left with here? Minus 1 to the n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 divided by 2. And so our Taylor series for f of x uh, centered at x is equal to 1 is going to be the sum from n from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n times n plus 2 times n plus 1 divided by 2. That's this that we just wrote down here. Don't forget the factor of, oops, I made a mistake. Not x to the n, but we are centering at c is equal to 1, so this needs to be x minus 1 to the n. It would be x to the n, and we are centering at c is equal to 0. Okay, so this is, here we have our Taylor series written out uh, in nice general form. If we want to write out the first several terms here, uh, this ends up being 1 minus 3 times x minus 1 plus 6 times x minus 1 squared minus 10 times x minus 1 cubed. So note here that the coefficients are going plus, minus, plus, minus from that factor of minus 1 to the n. Uh, x minus 1 to the n, so x minus 1 to the 0, x minus 1 to the 1, x minus 1 squared, x minus 1 cubed. And if you plug in n is 0, 1, 2, 3, you're getting these coefficients here. So for example, we plug in uh, n is equal to 3 here. 3 plus 2 is 5. Uh, 3 plus 1 is 4. 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 2 is 10. Pick up that minus sign. Okay, so that is our first... Uh, example of calculating out a Taylor series from scratch. So let's end with a pre-class problem. Please find the Taylor series for f of x, x to the minus 2, centered at c is equal to 2. So now you should have, uh, this is x to the minus 2 instead of x to the minus 3. So uh, the pattern for derivatives should be just a little bit simpler, but you'll have to account for 2 raised to different powers because... And, oops, where did our work go? When we plugged in 1 here, we just got times 1. You mean times 1, so that went away.